Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, I'll be releasing these. These are Beidou hydroponic system buckets that you can print at home for cents on the dollar and utilize in your hydroponic ecosystem. So generally I like to keep a schedule of one video a week and one 3D printable design per month released so that I can give you guys the best value video content as well as 3D printable content. Uh, but obviously with everything that's happening at the moment in my life, um, I've fallen a little bit behind on the Patreon side where I'm releasing 3D printable hydroponic content. So I'm actually pulling from the pre-release tier to fast track this specific file. I haven't actually done a video setup or grow with these yet, but I have tested them to make sure that they work. And if you have your print settings dialed in, they will hold water and act identically to a Beidou bucket that you purchase online. Now, obviously the size that you are going to be able to print is going to depend on your print bed. Behind me, I have the Ender 3 Pros and they print up to a maximum size of 25 by 25 when you expand the bed size in Cura settings. And in front of me, I've got the Ender 3 Max Neo, which has a bed print size of 300 by 300, which I think we can expand out a little bit as well. There is a review coming on this printer very shortly. So let's get in front of a computer. I'll do a sectional analysis of this bucket and show you how it works. Okay, so the way that I've designed this Beto bucket is, we have the exit pipe at the front of the bucket and that allows the water to drain out of the inside of the bucket. Now I'll do a cross-sectional analysis from this side and what happens if we take it back, we can actually see the internals of the bucket. So you can see the water will come in from the top of the bucket and the bucket will be filled with a grow media of your choice, hydrogen clay balls, perlite, a mixture of perlite and vermiculite, cocoa cure, whatever you like. There is a shield at the bottom that I've designed that will print in place. And this is all one piece. So the bucket will print like this without support. The only support you will need is on the front pipe return and you'll do a support touching build plate only because if you do all supports it will build supports within this pipe as it prints and if you do supports from the build plate it will look something like this to remove the support because this support is actually going to be traveling all the way up through the pipe you just twist it and then it will pull out and you have your support removed and that pipe is completely free of any supports internally allowing the nutrient solution to escape. I would highly recommend a 0.8 millimeter nozzle to print with. This is going to halve the amount of lines within the print and allow you to achieve a more watertight print. And similarly to our large Beto bucket cousins, these will fit over a 40 millimeter diameter pipe. So this is exactly the same piping that we use for the large Beto bucket systems. And in general, that will work with whatever size you print it at. Even if you print it with a larger print bed at a larger size, the length of pipe that I've allowed for will drop into a 40 millimeter return pipe. You can also drop it into a square pipe system if you had the hole close to the edge. And within a square pipe system like this, you could have them side by side, utilizing all the space around the pipe. It's a really simple design. It's got two millimeter thick walls. I made the walls a little bit thicker, so it's a little more durable. I'm not gonna pretend like these are gonna last forever. They're definitely not gonna last as long as an injection molded plastic, but they are relatively cheap. So when I slice this design, the print will take 220 grams. However, in the real world, we are looking at 224 grams. So that means that if you're paying $20 for a one kilogram roll of whatever material you're using, pet G is mine, it's gonna cost just under $5 to print one of these buckets and you'll get four out of a kilogram. So $5 a bucket, you may actually be able to pick up the injection molded beta buckets cheaper. Although I haven't seen them cheaper in my country, except for in very rare scenarios where people are trying to offload many, many beta buckets because they've either over ordered or whatnot. So this design will be available on all tiers of my Patreon from the publishing of this video. 
and I hope you enjoy it. There will be a video coming out very soon on setting up this system and I'll do a time lapse and a grow and we'll see how the buckets perform. Until then, happy hydroponicking and I'll see you next time on Hoochos. <laughs>